This video will cover subassemblies and bill of material. The creation of subassemblies can speed up the design process if that assembly is going to be used in future designs. When an assembly is inserted into another assembly, it is considered to be a subassembly. Since the parts in the subassembly have already been constrained to each other, that work does not need to be redone. The subassembly only needs to be constrained to the other parts in the main assembly. If any of the parts or constraints in the subassembly change, those changes will be reflected in the subassembly being used inside of the main assembly. Examples of subassemblies include propeller assembly, piston and connecting rod assembly in a V8 engine, a tread assembly for a spiral stair system. By default, the subassembly will be shown in individual items in a bill of material. If you insert 13 instances of the tread subassembly, it will show a quantity of 13 plates and 13 treads. If you wish to have a subassembly treated as a single item in a bill of material, first open the subassembly. In this case, the subassembly file is accessed by right clicking on it in the Design Explorer and selecting Edit in a separate window. Now check the Treat as Part in Bill of Material box in the File Properties dialog. The quickest way to access this dialog is to press the Alt and Enter keys on your keyboard. You can also click on the Libre gem and select Design Properties or select Design Properties under File in the main menu. If you access the subassembly from within the main assembly via Edit in Separate Window, simply close the subassembly window to return to the main assembly. Save the main assembly file before creating a bill of material so these changes will be reflected in the bill of material. If you access the subassembly otherwise, make sure to save the subassembly before closing the file. If you are modifying an existing bill of material, be sure to update this bill of material to see the changes. Now when you insert 13 instances of the tread subassembly, the bill of material will show a quantity of 13 tread assemblies, instead of 13 plates and 13 treads. This video covered subassemblies and bill of material. The creation of subassemblies can speed up the design process if that assembly is going to be used in future designs. When an assembly is inserted into another assembly, it is considered to be a subassembly. Since the parts in the subassembly have already been constrained to each other, that work does not need to be redone. The subassembly only has to be constrained to the other parts in the main assembly. If any of the parts or constraints in the subassembly change, those changes will be reflected in the subassembly that is used inside of the main assembly. By default, the subassembly will be shown as individual items in a bill of material. You can have a subassembly shown as a single item in a bill of material instead of a collection of related parts by selecting Treat as Part in Bill of Material in the File Properties dialog.